this video, I'm going to illustrate how you can create a progress bar in Google Sheets in a single cell that is controlled by checkbox selections. So what you see here is a preview of what we're going to build today. I have a spreadsheet full of project ID numbers. And in each row, I have checkboxes for the stages of completion. And to the right, we have a progress bar that will adjust based on these checkbox selections. So in this first row, if I were to select these last three checkboxes, you should see our progress bar go up to 100%. So we'll get started here on a blank template. So the first thing I wanna do is select this range of cells here and add checkboxes. So I'm gonna go up to data and then data validation. Under criteria, I wanna select this last option checkbox and hit save. I'm just gonna select a few of these at random. And now the next thing we wanna do is insert our progress bar. To do that, we need to use the sparkline function. So the first input of the sparkline function is the data we want to feed into it to produce the bar chart. So this is a unique situation here. Our data is a row of checkboxes. So checkboxes have a value of true if the box is checked. It has a value of false if the box is not checked. So what I want to do here is insert a count if function with a criteria of true values. So I'm going to begin with a count if. Our range is our row of checkboxes. Our criteria is count all the true values or checked values. So I'm going to insert the word true and that is all we need. So now we come to the second portion of our sparkline function. That is where we actually define chart elements. We define the type of chart we want, things like the max value. Um, you can also specify colors of the bars and things of that nature. So this second argument must be enclosed in curly brackets. So I'm going to begin with that. Uh, the first thing we need to define is our chart type. And all text in this second argument needs to be enclosed in double quotes. So keep that in mind. So the chart type we want is a bar chart. So we have defined the first element of the second argument. Now I want to define the max value. So each element you want to define is listed followed by the type of element you want. To separate each element, we need to separate them with a semicolon. The next thing I need to define is the max value. Well, if you look at the row here, we have five checkboxes. So our max value is five. And keep in mind that this max value is needed for this to work in this situation because right now the sparkline function does not know what the max value is. Um, because we're doing a count if of true values. So we absolutely have to define that for this to work. So for now, this is all I wanna do. Uh, we might go back and define the bar color later, but this is good enough for now. So I'm gonna end this with a curly bracket and then closing parentheses, hit enter. And you can see we get a progress bar that is three-fifths of the way complete because we have three checkboxes. If I select these other two, you can see now it's 100% complete. So I'll drag this down. Um, keep in mind that these are empty here because no checkboxes are selected. So if I check some, you can see it adjusts accordingly. So now maybe I want to change the bar color. The standard orange just doesn't work for me. So again, I'm going to add a semicolon to separate our next element. And then I'm going to input color one. 
and we'll go with blue. So that looks better. We'll drag this down. Um, you can see as we check check boxes, everything adjusts. Now to make these bars pop a little more, you can do simple things like change the background color, uh, change it to yellow there. That looks a little better. So that is how you can quickly create a progress bar controlled by checkboxes in Google Sheets.